Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here. Listen, I hope that you're having a wonderful, magnificent, and an incredible day. Today, I want to show you how to protect your Joomla websites from getting hacked. Now, one thing about any content management system is that if you don't have any type of protection on there, it is so easy for people to be able to get access to it and just, you know, just pretty much just mess it up. So the way that you do this is there's this extension called admin tools and it's an incredible extension. They have a free version and they have a pro version. I'm going to show you how you can start protecting your website for free. Now, let me be very clear. I'm not going to go into extensive details about security in this particular one, but I decided to do this video because I've seen so many people's websites that use Joomla that all you have to do is just put in the word administrator after the domain name that is how you know that it's a Joomla website and any hacker that have decent knowledge can be able to put the admin and wreak havoc and they can do so much damage get access to your database and a whole bunch of stuff so I want to help you out to make sure that you don't let that happen to you now let me be very clear there's so many different levels of security and you can't just do one thing and then expect that it's going to solve every problem. But it's better to have some protection than absolutely no protection. And I'm not going to go into extensive details about this because Admin Tools has a pro version, which I use for my websites and for clients' websites. See, anytime that you're going to have a website that has valuable stuff, anytime you're collecting any type of data that's important to you or other people's information, you want to make sure that you have security on it. And uh, typically I have about three or four layers of security for my sites and clients' websites. Um, an admin tool is just um, probably one of the steps that I use um, to do that. So if you are looking to secure your website, uh, it's always good to make sure that your website has this HTTPS uh, next to it. Right now you can contact your web host and um, if you have an SSL certificate you know you can definitely get on there very cheap that's a great way to go um, trust me it's worth the investment so let's get started here. so to get this installed on your website you go to um, akibabackup.com and you go to products and then you want to click on admin tools for Joomla and then they have two on here they have two they have a, a core which is the free version and they have a pro version here so you want to download this and once you've downloaded it, go to extensions, manage and install. And then you, you come here where it says upload package and you drag it from wherever you've downloaded it from or to and it's going to upload. I already done that here. So once you've done that now, you're going to get admin tools. Now, as I mentioned before, this is the free version. But once again, it's definitely, definitely good to have. You can have different password protection. I want to cover more specifically today, uh, password protect your admin area. So what this is going to do is if someone types in administrator, uh, they are going to be prompted to enter the password. If they don't have the password, then the system is not going to let them get in. Uh, so this is a great first step to make sure that you're protecting your, your site. So let me show you how to password protect your admin. So first, let me go here and I am going to log out. Now, when I log out here, when you come to the admin, you can see this page. So now I am going to log back in and I have access to this page. I'm log back in here and there you have it. So now let's go to components, go to admin tools and we're going to password protect the admin. So click on password protect. You can create a username that is going to prompt the person to enter first and then you create a password so for now i'm just going to create a, a, a very generic username because it's a demo site that i'm working on so i've created a basic password here i'm just going to click on password protect so now you notice automatically it's going to ask me what username and password that i just created so this is what's going to happen when someone try to get access to the site. So I'm just going to put in the username and the password that I created. And then now it gives me access to that. 